All right, hello everybody, I'm Paul Richards with PTZ Optics, and in this video, I wanna show you how to use the NDI bridge to control PTZ cameras from anywhere in the world. NDI Bridge is part of the NDI Tools Package, which is 100% free for anyone to use. And if you're using NDI cameras or NDI joystick controllers, as we're going to show today, you can control cameras from anywhere. So the NDI Bridge, as I said, is totally free. I've got the NDI Bridge set up now, and I'm going to explain how we did that. And then I also have the PTZ Optics Super Joy here. And the Super Joy is an NDI camera controller. So it can find any NDI camera on your local area network and you can control it just using NDI. That is very nice if you are controlling cameras uh, through the NDI bridge. So let's take a look at the NDI bridge really quickly. Uh, I have two NDI tools that I'm using to do this today. I have the NDI bridge open in host mode. And the way that this works is essentially we have a public IP address and the public IP address uh, is now being shown to the public. So we're going to we're going to actually uh, blank that out for this video because we don't want to share our public IP address with the whole Internet. But we have our public IP address and we have a port and we've routed this public IP address and port directly to my computer. So the computer that is hosting the NDI bridge has a public IP address with a port that is port forwarding directly to our PC. And if you're interested in learning more about how NDI bridge is set up, take a look at the notes in our, the comments in our video and our blog post that explains this in more detail. There's also an encryption key. Uh, and what you do is you copy this information by clicking this little copy keyboard here and you send that to the far end. And the far end right now is this conference room. This conference room is on a separate network and it is being bridged to this network. So you can see I have an NDI camera coming through this bridge connection. When you right click NDI Studio Monitor, it shows you all of the cameras that are available on your network, but it will also show you a all of the cameras that are connected through the bridge. So you see this little bridge item here. This is, uh, I'm connected over the NDI bridge to this remote PTZ Optics camera over here on a completely different network. So now that I know my NDI bridge is set up, and again, I copied that information, sent it to the far end, the other, there's another computer running bridge that clicked the join button here and entered this information and joined this NDI bridge session. So that's how that was all set up. Once that is done, what we can do is we can actually go into our PTZ Optics Super Joy and find those cameras that are available to us now through the bridge. So if you go to your Studio Pro, uh, sorry, your PTZ Optics Super Joy joystick, and by the way, the IP address of the, the Super Joy is available on the screen of the Super Joy. It is also, when you type that in, this will all come up. And you can search for NDI cameras, and you can search for PTZ Optics cameras. So when I click a search here, it takes a moment, it searches the entire network, and it finds all NDI sources. Now, of course, it can only control NDI PTZ cameras, uh, of which we have quite a few. Uh, so here's a list of the NDI cameras on our network. And then what we have here is we have a NDI camera that's coming through the bridge. So you can see it, it, every source coming through the bridge is mentioned here. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit add. I'm gonna add that to channel two, and you'll see the protocol is already selected as NDI. It already knows the IP address and the control port. So we're gonna go ahead and hit save. Now, just to confirm that that was done correctly, when we go over here earlier in our video series, camera one is actually a Panasonic camera that we were controlling recently. Camera two is this NDI camera here. So when I go to camera two, I am now going to be controlling this NDI camera. So now let's just confirm that that's working by going over to Studio Monitor over here, right? Now you can see Using Studio Monitor, of course, I can control this camera, but what I'm going to do is I am actually going to be controlling it with the Super Joy. So you can see here that I'm actually controlling it. I'm not using my mouse here. I am using the PTZ Optics Super Joy uh, to control this camera that happens to be 
on another network. It could be anywhere around the world. It is very low latency. You are able to control the pan, tilt, and zoom of a camera from anywhere in the world and get a really nice high-definition preview of that camera through NDI Studio Monitor. So this is pretty exciting stuff. And I, I'm really excited to share this with you. NDI Bridge is a great tool for uh, controlling cameras. Of course, you can, of course, use the built-in click and mouse, but the Studio Pro itself, or sorry, the SuperJoy, I keep calling it Studio Pro, the SuperJoy, PTZ Optic SuperJoy controller, supports NDI and will then therefore support the NDI Bridge and sources that are available to it on the local area network. So great job to the NDI team for creating such a great tool with NDI Bridge. I recommend you guys try this with your PTZ Optic SuperJoy and let us know if you are in the comments below. Uh, we're going to provide some more detailed information in our blog post about this in the link below if you want a more step-by-step -step tutorial. Take care and I'll see you guys in the next video.